In a media statement, ECN announced that the issuance of duplicate voters' cards to registered voters is in accordance with Section 35 of the Electoral Act No. 5 of 2014. Political parties argued that the announcement's timing is unacceptable. So we say it is just too late. And the other problem I think also, which is a burning issue for us, is that we have not been consulted before this decision has been taken. And that is very unfair to us. For us as IPC, I can take it that it's not really materializing because ECN as an organization, they had three months to prepare for this. By then, all of a sudden, as far as there's a schedule that all the stakeholders, they were communicated and they agreed or they approved it. All of a sudden, Friday evening, five o'clock past five, we, we get a letter from ECN that says on Saturday, which was yesterday, and today, a day before election, we have elections to, uh, to go to and to prepare for less than 24 hours. Now, there is a new process that, uh, that ECN brought in to say they want to register for duplicate cards. We are saying, no, it's not part of the schedule. But we are also asking the question, what is the need? Swapo coordinator in the Karas region, Matthew Mumbala, says people who have lost their documents cannot be denied their democratic rights. The way forward, we are saying, let the law to take course. If the, the law saying the people should issue a duplicate, let them get duplicate. That is what we are saying. Political party representatives have been in meetings with the ECN for hours since morning to find a solution to the standoff. Residents of Ketmansup rural constituency will go to the polls tomorrow. Na Tangwajimi NBC News, Ketmansup.